Hello again YouTube. This is the beginning of another video for the build of a solar water distiller. The first thing you need to do is select a door, sliding glass door, or obtain some tempered glass of any size. Right here we're going to go with this one. It's a sliding glass door. This is an insulated pane. There's two 1 8 inch panes on each side. And it's insulated. As you can see in there right in here it's back off of the wood it's back off in here so what I'm going to do is cut a line on here this will deteriorate the integrity of this wood right here that holds it together perhaps I can just push this off and then push this off and get, uh, and get this window freed up <clears throat> now what you want to do you want to select the window dirt is okay we can clean the dirt off what you don't want is the white whitening that occurs in some of the glass that you see it'll be a white milky uh, substance on the inside of this glass it's an etching that occurs when the air enters between this sealed glass you do not want to use any of that you see that can't use that glass and I'm going to turn this off a second and I'm going to show you a pane that you do not want to use okay here is a pane as I was speaking about this glass has a smoky, uh, white chalky film on the inside of the glass. There is no known way to remove this. None. I've tried everything. You cannot use this type of uh, pane of glass. I know this is a severe example of the whitening here, but uh, any whitening of this glass, you can't use it. I mean, if there's a small streak in it, it's done. You can't use it. So uh, just to show you that and clear that up. Okay, that didn't take too long. Just a quick buzz with that saw. You see the wood's pulling away right here. Now you gotta be careful that you do not cut this. So I measured back three quarters of an inch from the edge of this window right there. And it has a boot that surrounds it. Most of them do. Again, we take all this stuff off and exposing the window as it is and the everything okay again remove this boot that goes around it and when you're done with that you need to start removing the glass from this insulation bar right in here it's all aluminum it's got some uh, rubber sealant it joins them together pretty tough stuff but I've done a few of them and I'll show you what I need what I do to do it all right hold on okay YouTube step two in this process here I've already got the uh, wood removed see we've got the wood removed all the way around now what I want to do mark the outside of this glass the outside of the pane that way we know what is the outside and what was the inside of this pane of glass of this window Oop. all right there we go now on to the separating them what I use here is a xylene you could probably use lacquer thinner paint thinner whatever I use xylene and you can coat the blade of your knife with it and what you want to do is to come in between the glass and the metal down there see I've got it through and you want to just take it around cutting the rubber off of the window all right gets a little hung up gets sticky wash your blade off with the xylene or lacquer thinner and continue this separate it from both sides of the window okay, I'm going to continue this and uh, we'll pick it up from there all right YouTube I've separated the top piece of glass now I want to work on the bottom I wiped the blade with a little xylene got it started and I'll show you how this goes now I'm using a fillet knife thin blade this is what you want this one has serrations 
long here, but you really don't need them. I guess they're good, but either way, whatever you can find, do your knife. Uh, thin is the big thing. And you just keep going, cutting this off, just like that. Watch yourself. Okay. And that's how that goes. It won't take long to go around the edge. You seen how I got that? And uh, move on to the next video. Okay. Here we go. Now that we have the the piece removed from the middle, need to remove all of this rubber that we can before we clean it with the xylene. So here we go. We're going to take this uh, single edge razor blade. I have a holder, but uh, for the blade, <laughs> couldn't find it. Okay, so I just got to do with what I got. All right, here you want to take the blade and clean off as much of this as you can. All that you can clean off with this blade is less you have to clean off with the xylene. Also get along the edge of the glass right here, getting the most of it off of the edge of the glass so that you can with the scraping. Once you have it scraped, coming back with some xylene. And the xylene cleans it off pretty good. It doesn't dry fast. It isn't uh, too gaggy to smell or anything like that. So that's why I use it. All right, now remember this is the inside of the glass, what was the inside of the paint. The less that you can get on the inside of this and messing, the more you, less you have to clean off. So here we go. Just gonna clean this off uh, one time real good and then we'll do a final cleaning after that. But you wanna clean this off and clean, we'll, then we'll clean both sides of the glass. But that's how you get the rubber off of this right here and we'll continue after we have this uh, all cleaned off. Okay, again, I'm gonna make sure that this is a tempered piece of glass and that there is a etching on the glass right here that will say that it is tempered. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm trying to get a good picture of it. With this camera, I don't know if you can see it or not, but in any of the corners, can be in any corner of the glass, or somewhere on this glass, there will be an etching right here saying that it is tempered glass. If it is not tempered glass, do not use it for this solar distiller. It will not work, it will bust and crack, and all your work will be for nothing. Another, another good thing to have when you're dealing with this glass is these suction cups right here. A little bit of moistening, God, that is stuck already and I didn't even pull the handle tight. Okay, so uh, you, this will make handling the glass a lot easier. You won't get any of the junk off of your hands onto the glass. Uh, uh, and it makes it less, you know, the less you get on it, the less you have to clean off. Simple as that. So uh, here we go. I got this one cleaned and I'm going to move it aside and clean the other one and take it from there. Okay, a little helpful tip. The stuff that you take off of here, this rubber, this rubber that you take off is very sticky and messy and it'd be the best thing to do is to pick it up. Don't walk on it. If you walk on it, it's going to stick to the bottom of your shoes. You know, you're going to trap it, track it in on your carpet and your flooring and yeah, your old lady won't be too damn happy about it. I know mine. <laughs> Mine isn't, so uh, okay, just a helpful tip on that. Pick this stuff up, collect it as you go, and you'll be a lot better off. All right, here we go. After you've cleaned the excess of the rubber off of here one time uh, with the blade, uh, the single edge blade, and then again uh, with some wiping it with some xylene, we're going to go ahead with some xylene and remove the film 
of the rubber that is on this glass. Keep in mind this there's this tape is on the other side so that means again the tape is on the side of the outside of the window so this is the inside of the glass what was the inside of the glass this is where the rubber was for the most part right here you have to clean this off and then we'll go ahead and do a cleaning with muriatic acid and oven cleaner and a scrubbing pad we'll scrub thoroughly the whole surface and get everything off everything off okay so we'll get started on that right now like I say we're going to take this xylene put it on this paper towel fair amount and we'll clean off the excess there we go you can see it right there the excess of the black rubber that was on this glass you need to get that off wipe the sides of the glass again and a little bit on the other side right there with this with this xylene and get it clean okay has to be clean of this rubber clean as you can get it and that's how it, how it needs to be as clean as you can get it with the xylene or uh, lacquer thinner like I say and again it looks like it was clean but there is some on here and then after we clean it we'll go ahead and and clean it with the acid I'm trying to find the kind there it is we can't see it too good there is the mark it shows that it is, it is a tempered glass right there I don't know if you can see it it's an etching in the glass this is a tempered plate all right on with the cleaning okay I have poured some acid on the oven cleaner on the glass put the oven cleaner uh, sprayed the oven cleaner on then put the muriatic acid on and now I'm going to start scrubbing this glass now uh, make sure that it's all cleaned off this is is pretty smoky stuff and uh, you, can, you don't want to do this inside you want to do this outside uh, plenty of ventilation to do this okay all right I put some gloves on here and scrub this stuff down scrub it real good Scrub it real good. You can feel anything that's under the under the scrubbing pad, and that acid will help cut loose anything, any like uh, baked on dirt, and such as that. The oven cleaner will help it cut that grease. Acid does not cut grease. All right. Again, scrubbing this thing down real good along the edges of the glass. Don't forget along the all right here we go I've cleaned the uh, black rubber sealant across the outside edge here across the outside corner uh, outside uh, of the glass the edge here and all over the glass done that and cleaned it all I scrubbed it down with the muriatic acid and oven cleaner and a scrubbing pad all right, now I scrubbed it. You can feel it coming clean. And what you want is you want this glass clean, uh, really clean. I want to wet this down and show you. I've cleaned both sides, so you'll see some drips on the other side. That's not what I want you to look at. All right, here we go. So we can all see the bottom, the droplets. The droplets here forming in the droplets right there that are running down the glass. Now, when we get down like this right here, those drops will disappear. You should see a sheen of water, just one solid sheet of water. I hope you can see that. There's no pulling away anywhere. It's a solid sheet just a thin sheet of water 
on top of that glass and that is a clean surface right there okay again this is a solid sheet of water across this surface now don't get confused about this stuff underneath the glass what I'm looking for is across the top of the glass there's no pulling away uh, where the water is pulling away anywhere this solid sheet of glass again this stuff under here is the other side of the glass we're going to use one side for the bottom of the top pane this piece right here had the blue tape on top where I put it right here on the top I removed it so I could do a total clean but I know this is the top or the outside of the glass that I had this is the outside and for most of the part this will be the cleaner uh, part of the glass with uh, less problems will be the outside so I'm going to dry this off we'll replace the blue tape on here so that I know again this was the outside of the window of the glass pane so there's no confusion this will be the side I use for the top the bottom side the underside of the top of the water distiller or the top side of the basin glass so either one you need it clean just like that totally clean all right